So I just read a quote by Charles Finney, and he was a theologian around the late 1800s, and he puts Christians into three classes, and I would like us to challenge ourselves to see which class we fit in or most identify with. So the quote, uh, many understanding the confessions of faith are summar uh, summarizing the doctrines of the Bible, very much neglect the Bible and rest in the belief of the articles of faith. So first class of people are those who just go with the articles of faith, neglect the Bible, think that that is enough. Others, more cautious and more in earnest, search the scriptures to see what they say about Christ, but stop short and rest in the formation of correct theological opinions. So second group are those that are searching the scriptures and studying theology, doctrines, and wanting to have correct theological opinions, but they stop short. They, they don't actually come to Jesus. They just are good with their understanding. While others, and they are the only saved class, love the scriptures intensely because they testify of Jesus. They search and devour the scriptures because they tell them who Jesus is and what they may trust him for. They do not stop short and rest in this testimony, but by an act of loving trust, they go directly to him, to his person, thus joining their souls to him in a union that receives from him by a direct divine communication, the things for which they are led to trust him. This is certainly Christian experience. This is receiving from Christ the eternal life which God has given us in him. This is saving faith. The air to which I call attention does not consist in laying too much stress in teaching and believing the facts and doctrines of the gospel, but consists in stopping short of trusting the personal Christ for what those facts and doctrines teach us to trust him, and satisfying ourselves with believing the testimony about him instead of committing our souls to him by an act of loving trust. So basically what Charles Finney says and describes as the saved class and as the Christian experience is when we don't stop at just having a mental understanding of theology and doctrines, but we actually press on to have a direct encounter with Jesus, to actually trust him for the things the Bible says we can, to come to him and receive from him. I mean, it reminds me of the vine and the branches scenario where without actually being connected to him, we can't produce fruit. So that connectedness <laughs> is in actually coming to him directly and receiving from him and not just have a having a mental um check yep i i got it and i agree um that that is not actually the christian experience the christian experience is going directly to jesus and receiving from him by divine communication so and i thought it was good how he talked about the air is not putting too much stress on teaching and believing the facts and the doctrines of the gospel, but the air is actually stopping short of coming to the personal Christ. And um, yeah, so not being satisfied. The air is being satisfied in the testimonies about him without pressing on to experience our own testimonies of him and with him. So, yeah, so which which group of people do you fit in? I actually think that there are more than three classes that we can put ourselves in. Um, and at the same time, I think that his description of that third class is really good, where there's both a, a love and a hunger for the scriptures and also not stopping there, but really pressing on to have a deep experience of Jesus and receiving from him directly and communing with him. And, and that is, that is a Christian experience. And then I would say the other class that people fit in, um, would be the ones that are just 
focus on the spiritual experience without the Bible, and that's a problem as well. Um, yeah, and then there's, <laughs> well, I guess actually the other class that I'm thinking of would fit into the class with just the, the being fine with the articles of faith. So I was thinking like there's another class where it's actually more not even the articles of faith, but even just more satisfied with the Christian church community and the social aspect of it and and the rules that go along with it, but also they don't press in to really connect with Jesus and receive from him. Um, yeah, so I would say there's probably more like at least five classes of Christians, but I agree with him that the class that is having the actual Christian experience are the ones that are um, pressing in to the scriptures, knowing the scriptures well, and also coming to Jesus and trusting him for what the Bible says we can trust him for and having direct communication with him. So which class do you fit in? Which class do you want to be in? And um, I mean, that the answer might be different for everyone. Uh, yeah, I guess the question is, do you want to have the Christian experience and do you want to be part of the saved class? And how do you get there? And it's, um, I think if you don't already have the desire to, or if you're not already experiencing Jesus in that way where you're coming directly to him, um, I mean, it really starts with desire and and then uh, pressing in. And we can always ask God to give us the desire. Um, I actually, I often pray the prayer, um, like, Lord, give me the grace to desire you with my whole heart and soul so that desiring you, I will seek and find you and finding you, I will love you and loving you. I will hate everything that separates me from you. I think we can never have too much desire or, you know, seek him too much, love him too much and hate those things that separate us from him too much. So, so I pray that prayer often and, um, yeah, ask him for the desire to love him and to seek after him with all my heart. So anyway, hope that's encouraging.